What is going on everybody? So I am back today with another video. Uh, this is going to be another Ticks and Trips video and the map is going to be the Coliseum this time. First and foremost, I'd really like to thank the Halo Community Hub for sharing a lot of my content that I've been making lately and also sharing my stream. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And by the way, when I say weapons are OP, I am not complaining. That is a good thing, especially the way this game is made. With that being said, everybody, I hope everybody enjoys the video and always everybody. Pwah! Okay, so the first thing that I kind of want to go over with you guys on this map uh, is something that's going to help you save... A lot of time, it's going to be less of a headache in order to get for rockets. As everybody knows, getting rockets on Coliseum is the biggest pain in the ass. Uh, just for the sole fact, uh, off of the initial start, uh, everybody is really running up a really narrow way. Uh, it's a one-way street, and on top of that, it's very, very open. So, um, I'm going to show you a couple other ways to get it from both sides, and other ways you can also cut off the opponent team from getting the rockets too. So, off the initial spawn, you know, you spawn way back over here. When you spawn, you push, there's this one plasma nade, so you're gonna wanna pick this up, and then you're gonna wanna come over here. I have six, just for good practice to the video. Um, you're gonna walk into this crack right here. There's a rock here, and then there's this big rock. And then you kinda have like this plant growing on, going here, walk until like you, you feel stuck. So then you're going to take your cursor and you're going to aim at the bottom end of this corner right here. And then now you're going to drag your cursor, uh, your aimer, your reticle, whatever you want to call it, to the center in between these two buildings, like so. And then what you're going to want to do is throw your sticky. Now by doing this, it only works with stickies, it doesn't work with frag grenades, but it's going to blow the rockets all the way up to me, uh, to Fountain. Now sometimes it'll land on BR and you can pick it up like this, but sometimes it's also going to land like right down here seen people from red base do that before but i haven't seen anybody from blue uh it took me about an hour to figure this one out from uh, literally every angle of a back blue to figure this out but there is another nade right here in the back of dark so you want to go ahead and go pick that one up and then once you pick that one up you're going to want to come over here to the fountain now there's going to be this little plate here that you're going to want to stand in front of. You're not going to want to like stand completely on top of it. You, you're just going to want to stand right in front of this little this little piece of metal. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. So you're going to put your reticle on the actual uh, rocket launcher, the, the little white part of the uh, icon. And then you're going to want to drag your cursor straight up. And once you drag your cursor straight up, you're going to want to stop to right about here. There's going to be these two lines, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to uh, point this out and, and signify it for you guys, but I'll try to figure out a way. But there's going to be these two lines, and that's going to where you're going to want to stop your reticle in the air. Uh, that is pretty much the perfect height of uh, getting that arc to the getting your nade over there. So after that, you're going to throw your nade, and what that's going to do is, and you have to, yet again, remember guys, it has to be a sticky. It's going to blow rockets all the way up to over here. One more really neat that I'd like to show you guys is if you look right here, here's the shadow and here's where the light ends. If you put your toe right uh, at the end of the light, or at the beginning of the light and at the end of the shadow, then put your cursor on the sniper, and then you're going to go all the way up here, and then if you look, you see this black dot right there, you're going to want to put your cursor just, just right above it. You're going to go up. You're gonna go right here. There's two little smaller lines that you can like basically put your ret rush to reticle on top of. But what this is gonna do, it's gonna blow up the sniper straight to you, uh, to your cubby, and then that way you have snipe. Less having to worry about fighting over a sniper and more time trying to regain control of the map. Now getting back on the subject of trying to shorten the, the span of time that it takes to get from point A to point B. Uh, I I'm not sure of how many jumps you guys know on this map and there's not many to really go over. Uh, but if you're in blue courtyard and you need easy access into blue base, you can simply jump up on here like this. You can thrust over, oh, you can thrust over and clamber like that, or you can just uh, thrust over and not have to worry about even clambering. Uh, I know I haven't seen this one used, and I haven't seen this one on YouTube anywhere. Um, this one is kind of beneficial. I used it the other day. Uh, this was found on complete accident. Me and my buddy Alex, uh, we were sitting here trying to learn the rocket nade. 
uh, for a, and in the time that it took to learn that, we were just goofing off, playing around, and we accidentally ran into this jump. Now this can be used, obviously, um, and in different situations, it is a completely situational uh, jump. But let's say, for instance, you're being pushed from a guy like in, uh, in the base or something like that, and this is your base or whatever the case may be. So you're going to want to jump up onto these rocks right over here on the side of red. And then if you see this, uh, if you see this crease right here, uh, where like the building kind of bends a little bit, and there's like a little there's a difference in degree here. So uh, what you're gonna do is, if I can get up on this rock here, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to jump on the top of these rocks here, and then you're gonna want to tr try to jump like to basically right there. And then while you're doing that, you're gonna tap A. I don't know what your settings are. You, uh, you might have to change your settings. To what's something similar to mine for clambering uh, but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to jump to that and you're gonna want to clamber and then you're gonna clamber again over here now, I don't exactly know what you're clambering on <laughs> when you clamber here I'm not sure if it's like uh, if it's a glitch or what it may be but there's something there that you can grab and it makes it a million times easier to, uh, to get over to the other side of the base from this part of the base Another jump that is pretty much identical from the blue courtyard to blue bridge is the one that is in red courtyard to red bridge. Uh, it's just this little rock right here and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump and hold crouch that way you get up on this actual rock. This one you're going to actually have to clamber uh, just because of the fact that you're so much lower uh, when, when you're initially jumping up there. That, that other jump you're a little bit higher up the ground so you don't really have to, you don't have to clamber. Uh, on that one if you don't want to, but this one you're gonna have to clamber. Alright everybody, and the last one that I want to show you guys is one that's obviously gonna be completely situational. Maybe you'll be able to pull it off in a 1v1 or something like that. Maybe uh, you're trying to go for like some sick like montage clip or whatever the case may be. I just found this when I was in the game with your boy over here. Um, shake those hips like Shakira boy. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Right. Oh, what you do is you stand on that. You basically stand on the edge of this. Put your reticle on the uh, top of this, where those two little lines meet. Pretty sure that's where I had it. And then you throw your nade. Yep. And it's gonna blow them up to me. And then you're gonna be able to catch them, or your opponent's gonna catch them. Whatever the case may be. And that's how you're gonna be able to do it. All right, everybody. So that's it for today's tips videos. I hope everybody really enjoyed, and I hope everybody found this video informational and uh, beneficial to your gameplay. Hopefully you'll be able to implement some of these into your game and help improve your game. But like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that Sibity subscribe button for me. And if not, do it for Prodigy over here with these uh, Shakira hips. Go ahead and hit him with it. Hit him, hit him, hit him with that. Uh, uh, twerk, 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 twerk. Uh, Ah! Uh...